pangolins, the world's only mammals with scales, unique creatures sometimes called scaly anteaters, not well known and yet among the most poached and illegally trafficked animals in the world and nearing extinction because of high demand for their scales in Asian traditional medicine. The majority of trade leaving Africa are dead pangolins in the form of loose scales in large stacks, but in southern Africa they are often brought to a willing buyer, someone perceived to, have, to be a wealthy individual, um, where they ask large volumes of money for a living pangolin. The African Pangolin Working Group in South Africa, a team of veterinarians and wildlife experts, have been rehabilitating pangolins rescued from poachers for nearly a decade. When we receive those pangolins, they're all compromised, whether they've been with the poachers for a couple of days or sometimes up to two weeks. So we see pangolins in a variety of different um, physical states. Some are very emaciated, they're, they're skeletal, they've got wounds, they've got injuries, they've got snare wounds. Um, it's pitiful, very, very difficult to, to, to emotionally deal with that kind of suffering and abuse. The group has recorded 97 tons of pangolin scales seized last year from smugglers attempting to transport them out of Africa, which equates to roughly 150,000 illegally trafficked animals. A 20% estimate of the total figure, as not all cases are known by authorities. Nevertheless, steadily growing anti-poaching initiatives in South Africa work in collaboration with the police to identify and catch poachers and traders to protect the pangolins.